excellence online subscribe to our channel now for more educational videos and press the bell icon for more updates assalamu alaikum uh, this is daniel hussain zubairi and today i am back with the platform uh, from the platform of excellence online we are on a sequence of solving numericals of first year physics now question number 4 it says a helicopter weighs 3920 newton first thing is given weight calculate the force we need to work out force on it if it is ascending at a rate of 2 meters per second square this is acceleration first part so if i work out theta i know weight which is 3920 newton and acceleration 2 meters per second square up it says what will be the force we need to work out force this is first part the other part says if it is moving with a constant speed of 4 meters per second what will be the force again to uh, now what we need to work out is force with constant speed first thing second thing force with constant acceleration so let's say this represents our helicopter it says this is ascending at a rate of 2 meters per second square so according to newton's law what we know is whenever there is an acceleration there has to be a force formula says f equal ma that means there would be some kind of force for this acceleration okay the idea behind it is if this helicopter is going up so weight is directed downwards and there must be some force that balances this weight out plus additional force that gives me this much acceleration so if i need to work out the total upward force total upward force so i can start up with total upward force would be equals to f that is weight mg and ma so m common you get a plus c m here can be calculated as 3920 upon 9.8 times a 2 plus 9.8 so by solving this we get force upwards when it is accelerating then for part b it says calculate the force at constant speed now they mean for example if this represents the helicopter it is going up but there is no force since it is having constant speed that means acceleration is zero if acceleration is zero there would be any force so upward force would now exactly be equal to downward force then only there can be no acceleration so we can start up with for constant force in fact for constant speed force would be equals to weight that is mg that is 3920 newton directly next question it says a boy throws a ball upwards so now we can identify question is talking about something going up from the top of a cliff with a speed of 14.7 meters per second then we can work out some initial speed is given 14.7 meters per second on the way down then it says it is coming now downwards motion it just misses the floor and falls 49 meters below it okay fine how long the ball rises so i can start a bit theta if i make data according to this what it says is first upward motion so for upward motion i am given with vi 14.7 meters per second and there is a boy who is throwing a ball from the top of a cliff let's say this represents the cliff and there is a boy who throws a ball upwards so it goes up on its way back it misses the thrower and falls 49 meters below it so this is 49 I need to work out for part one how long does the ball rises? Time t one upwards 
हाउ हाइट एज इट गोज हाइट एस वन और एच वन देन हाउ लॉन्ग एज इट इन दर सो टी टू डाउनवर्ड्स देन टोटल टाइम देन विद वॉट बिलोसिटी टू स्ट्राइक सिंगा फाइनल बिलोसिटी की है सो स्टार्टिंग अप विद अपर्ड मोशन वी आई इज फोर्टीन पॉइंट सेवन फॉर अपर्ड मोशन एक्सेलरेशन इज माइनस जी फाइनल वेलासिटी इज जीरो आई गेस आई कैन कैलकुलेट टी वन इज इक्वल्स टू वी एफ माइनस वी आई ओवर ए सो वी एफ इज जीरो आई डोंट नो वी आई इज इनफैक्ट फोर्टीन पॉइंट सेवन एक्सेलरेशन इज माइनस नाइन पॉइंट एट सो आई गेट टाइम टी वन इन सेकेंड फर्स्ट थिंग then knowing time and other factors i can start calculating h1 then s is equals to h1 is equals to vit plus half at square so r h1 is equals to initial velocity 14.7 time t1 we have just find out plus half acceleration is minus 9.8 upon t1 square then you get h1 in meters then <coughs> my ball is now coming down so <coughs> for downward motion acceleration is g vi is 0 i can work out now total height that would be my s it would be h1 plus 49 so s is equals to h1 whatever you have calculated 49 you get s n meters going a v i n s we can first work out t2 that would be now v f minus v i over a okay we cannot proceed this way but surely we can work out something related to third equation of motion has I can start up with yes. Second equation of motion. I'm sorry. S is equals to v i t plus half a t square. It would be now t two. I know s. I know v i. I don't know t two plus half. I know a nine point eight, but I don't know t two. So I can work out t two. It would be in seconds. Then using the same equation. I can start calculating V F. It would be V F is equals to V I plus A T two. So V I is zero. A is nine point eight. T two is whatever. So far we have calculated. We get V F in meters per second. 